All right, another question we get asked a lot is how soon should I deliver my wedding film? Should I tell couples that it'll be done in two weeks? Should I tell them one year? Should I tell them six months? How should I tell them? It's, you know, it's a pretty common question. So I wanted to help you guys with this. So a lot of filmmakers as they're starting out, they want to deliver their films as fast as possible. Now this is really good. This is a goal that you should have. But oftentimes, because you don't have solid systems and processes in place, what ends up happening is you tell every couple that hey I'll have your film done in a month or two weeks or you know something like that and then all of a sudden you get a lot of inquiries your business starts to grow and you just can't you know deliver every single film within two weeks what ends up happening is you start missing deadlines you just start feeling completely overwhelmed and either you know your business kind of collapse or you buckle down and you pull just insane all-nighters to get all these films done in the deadline that you told the couple and you're just burnt out and you never want to do weddings again so i want to help you guys avoid that avoid burnout because it is not a good place to be so for delivery of your films, you know, when you're first starting out, don't be scared to actually make it a little bit longer. You want to give yourself a cushion because at the end of the day, you want to give them the best film possible and they're going to understand if it takes a little bit of time to do that. So for us personally, we tell couples it's between four to six months from when we shoot their wedding that we deliver their film. and. Of course, we try, we tell them, hey, we try to get it done before then, but that's kind of the latest that it would be. And we tell them we operate in a queue-based system that if we shot a couple's wedding, you know, this weekend, and then we shoot your wedding the next weekend, we'll work on, you know, this couple's first and then yours second. Or if we shot your wedding this weekend, we're tackling yours first, and then we're working on, you know, the other couple's after that and they always have no problem with that because they know we're looking out for them and we're going to get it to them in a timely manner when we say we're going to do it it's always better to tell a couple a realistic time frame and meet that deadline than to tell them something that's unrealistic and to miss it because then that trust is broken and the couple is they're going to be like hey where's our film what's going on because you you kind of lied to them. You said it's going to be done in two weeks and it's not. And they feel hurt about that and they're not going to want to recommend you. So really, as you're first starting out, do four to six months. Like give yourself time to really experiment with your films and really make them the best they can be. Because when you're first starting out in the first year or two of filmmaking, you really want to have that leeway to be like, oh man, if this film isn't working how you want it to work, if all the pieces aren't fitting together, it's amazing to have that cushion to be like, okay, cool. I'm just going to set this project aside for like a couple days and really refresh my mind and come back to it. And when you're when you really allow yourself to do that, the films turn out a million times better because you have a fresh mindset. But if you're like, oh my gosh, I told this couple two to three weeks, you don't have that ability to just set the project aside and then you end up rushing through it, you end up making mistakes, and it's not the best it could be. So my number one advice to people just starting out is tell couples it's going to be between four to six months. And even us, we've been doing this for a really long time and we still tell couples four to six months and we've never run into any issues and we always meet that deadline and oftentimes we you know meet it before even the four month mark and when we do that couples are like oh my gosh like I can't believe our film is here already and they're super excited and it just makes for an incredible process for us as filmmakers and making sure that we don't get burnt out and it allows us to really deliver for couples and serve them in the best way possible all right guys well I hope that was super helpful. That's our process for the time frame that we deliver our films in. And I would encourage you guys to develop something very, very similar because I know it will really, really help you guys with burnout and really help you guys deliver films on time. So I've just finished working on this amazing ebook on nine proven steps that we have used that will allow you guys to shoot stress-free, cinematic, and story-driven wedding films. It's a really, really easy and digestible ebook. It's step-by-step. -step. Click the link right here to to download it or at the link below and it will just be incredibly helpful for you so make sure you click that link and download the ebook all right guys well that is today's video and until next time i'll talk to you guys later